As a prize fighter, I get in the ring and I put my life on the line. But these guys go abroad and, and fight for our country. They're the real fights. I've got to do this log run at first. And then the second chest is something to do with guns. I think I'm going to a shooting range and shooting up the place, which I'm looking forward to that. That should be good. And then we're coming back into the boxing gym. I'm doing a bit in the boxing gym, so it's been like a busy day. It's like a day's training. It's my team, yeah? Yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. The reason why we do the log race, this is one of the eight selection tests which every officer, soldier and recruit who wishes to serve with the parachute regiment must pass. We are looking for your leadership skills, your determination, your motivation and your will to win. As paratroopers, this is what we do and put on a good performance. Put down the log, turn around, forward. Come on, you little mugs! Let's go! Come on! Savage! Come on! Drive! Good, but very, very hard. When they said that I'm going to do a two mile log run, I thought, two miles, nothing. The log, what a little log. That was teamwork right there. As an amateur boxer, if you was fighting someone from the army, you best be ready and you best be fit because they're like, everyone knows they're fit boys. Someone hit me up. Someone hit me up. It's a little, it's a little, too, but I want like a two two thing, yeah? Right, it's gonna be the green, it's gonna be the green and brown. Yes. Now, this is what I'm talking about. One on my forehead, one more on forehead, forehead. Yeah, yeah, I'm nice, I'm nice. When you're at war, that feeling of maybe you getting shot or like, it must be crazy. Like, I'm, I've got images in my head and that. Like, you're not really thinking think, about yeah. that at the time, I suppose. Nah. I would. <laughs> Rapid fire! No bullets, no bullets. <laughs> Switch fire right! And that was rather interesting. And then we were just going over here uh, to the shooting range to fire, I think, a rifle and a sniper or something. Is it a sniper? <laughs> Initially, we'll start with a single shot and you fire. Headshot, and then when we go on to two shots, you'll go head, chest, back in. And there's quite a little kick on this, so make sure you get a real firm stance. If you want to pull that lift up forward slightly, all right, so you're in a little bit of a boxing stance, straight to you. Stand in that position, finger off the trigger. All right, tight it up. Pull the trigger. Boom, boom. Bang, pull it. Finger off, finger out, and then back to the. That's all you're going to get. Here's one shot, yeah? I hope you know Jimmy is not going to get that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, Jimmy, man. He would forget his head if it weren't on his shoulder, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I looked all right, right? I think I look all right now. I'm all in the army gear. I'm looking nice. Look to my right now, I see Jim with his big helmet. Yeah, he's got his night tracks on <laughs> with the man gun thing tracked to his leg and he just looks mad. <laughs> he just looks mad. The guy makes you laugh. Target's up. No. Yeah. Rah. I'm worried about Jim. Jim McDonald is more than a trainer. He's family. Uh, he's my trainer, he's my motivator. Listen, you give me another trainer that gets up with you at seven o'clock in the morning and does your running with you. I think if you're going to the very, very top of this sport, you need that kind of connection and that bond with your coach. And I'm so lucky I've got it. So How much you get? He's at four out of 16. Oh, I smashed you up. <laughs> what did I get? Five. Four? We're on five. five. Yeah, I messed you up. Five, four. Unlucky, Jim C. As good as you are. I love Jim, and we've got a great, great bond and a great relationship, and I wouldn't change it for the world. So the backhand up, then get out of the way, yeah? Go slow. Nice. This is what I'm talking about. Being in a boxing gym, boxing, this is what it's about for me. This is my home. It's been a long journey, it has been. It's been six years now since I've turned professional, and to be fair, I thought I was going to be world champion within three years, the way I was going. I get past my fight on November the 22nd. 
the first part of 2015, I boxed for the IBF world title. Whoever it is, Carl Froch, no Carl Froch, I'm going to win that world title and I'm going to make history and become the first British Olympic gold medalist to win the world title. What he, his game's about and top level box is about is angles, speed and combination. So what you see James do now, he'll be working at a fast pace with fast hands and different angles and you just see how good he is defensively as well. Next fight. I'm boxing Marco Antonio Periban. And a lot of people say, why are you taking this fight, James? The guy's a former world title challenger. I want to box the best that I can. And boxing Periban and beating him, I'm going to get some credit for after. Potentially, down the line, me and Groves too. Massive, a massive fight. And one that I'd love to take and love to fight him again, because I think our first fight the decision was all wrong. I played it wrong in the first place, but the decision was wrong. In my words, I was getting a little bit too gassed. Maybe on myself, maybe of what was happening, people ran, I don't know. But that was that 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 loss was a blessing in disguise and I'm, and I'm glad that's happened. Uh, 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 Ty. Olympic gold medalist, British, European. The only thing's missing is that world title. I'm looking to win that and make history.